Right, I've just finished an experimental laboratory and I've been coming up with a knot I can use to tie the dog up and it had to have three things. Right, now this knot might just be a ball line or a modified ball line or a backwards ball line or a reverse ball line, something like that, but you got got to believe me, I did seriously come up with this on my side, so it might... I don't know that much about knots, so more of a creep, more I think of it. it's like just kind of like a ball line but different. Anyway, I'll show you how I tie it and I'll tell you why I tie it. Right, I had to have a few different things. Uh, I needed a knot for a few different things. Uh, it needed to be uh, quick to tie, it didn't need to cinch down too hard, it needed to be secure and it, I didn't want just a simple ordinary knot that anybody can just undo easily. So they were a few factors that I wanted uh, when I was like trying to figure out this knot. Also, it had to be good to be used with webbing, not just rope, you know, um, rectangular style. Right. So this is how I tie it. Right. Hopefully, I'm gonna get this on camera. But all you do is you go get this end. Oh, this on camera. You go under. Now you hold it. So you've got two figure eights, and then you come all the way around, back in, and then into your middle figure eight. So there's three figure eights. I hope that one on camera. And as you can see, it doesn't tighten too much. It works for strapping. It doesn't tighten in either way. It cinches down, and it doesn't create a noose, which will continue to tighten. Now I hope that's on camera. Now this is. Uh, it just seems to really work well just for tying dog time. I'm sure it'd have other applications. So you get plenty of running end, you create one figure eight and you hold your figure eights and you do another like un another turn round. This is actually it's actually important to have that extra turn in. But you're not gonna use it and then you just come up into your first loop and then down into your middle loop. And you tighten it up, and it won't go either way. And it won't come undone, and it's it's pretty much like a a double overhand cross with a ball line, cross with a cowitch type thing. Because originally all I used to do was I used to take the clip off and go through, which works really well. Apart from it's easy to undo, too easy, and it, uh, I have to take the clip off. So I'll try it one more time. Hopefully I don't mess it up again because I keep doing it wrong. Alright, so you get your one figure eight, then your second one, which you ignore straight away, come all the way around, up into and up into your first loop, like into your first loop, and then down into your second figure eight. And there you go, and then you dress it. Uh, now I hope that were on camera. And this, I'll show you the knot itself but that might just be an already existing knot but you've got to believe me I came up with that in my experimental laboratory right cheers and obviously it'll work with any type of cordage so I've got some nylon green paracord you get your first loop and your second figure eight you come round to make a third figure eight you ignore it you come up and down and you dress it I think that is just a ball line in it, but a different way of doing it. Well, if it is, tell me it is, and it's just a different way of doing a ball line, but it seems to work well for straps. Right, cheers.